here today as your new Prime Minister. <laughs> Firstly, I will be introducing new laws to help slow down climate change. Some of these changes may be difficult at first, but they are very important for our future. I have always dreamed of standing here, and thanks to hard work, and most importantly, the support of people around me, I made it out of reality. I would like to support the young people living in our country, and I promise to make sure their voices are heard. They remembered how hard they worked in their drama sessions, and how much they loved performing, and why the show was so important. Then they went on stage, and they talked about themselves for a bit, and then they were here, right here, in front of you. It had gone pretty well up till now, but they weren't really sure what was going to happen next. The theatre had gone all quiet. <laughs> the cast looked at the audience. And the audience looked back. They all waved at each other. <laughs> <laughs> then they thought about how lucky they were all to be in this big room together. How special this moment was. They thought about all the things they've been through in the last two years. All the times when people have been separated. All the times. All the times when they hadn't been able to do the things that brought them joy. All the moments that had been stolen from them. So they all sat in silence and took a moment to think about how everything that they had gone through up till now and how grateful they were to still be here. We all knew soon, soon for the hundredth time. <laughs> James missed playing football with his friends. Elle missed seeing her family and spending time with people she loved. All right, seriously, does anyone want a brownie? I have made loads. <laughs> Grace, Brad, 60 bigs. 60? Well, not exactly 60, but around 60. <laughs> and Louise spent more time doing nothing and realized that was okay. At times, the pandemic felt like one long summer. But sometimes it felt like the lockdowns would never end. What felt like forever, September finally, right? We closed our laptops, packed our bags, and went back to school. Can we move on now? What? Well, the pandemic was rubbish. I'm bored of it. We all went through it. We all lived through it. We're all still living through it. Can we just get to the next bit? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so that all happened. And then they were, then they were finally allowed back to drama, in one way or another. And they made us play, but when this is over... I absolutely love the show. It was so brilliant to come along today and have an opportunity to listen to what the young people have got to say, to uh, have an insight into their experiences and see how things are for them at present, to feel the emotions that they felt today, uh, to share those with them and to look to the future. It was just brilliant. I really enjoyed it. I thought the show was absolutely amazing. The kids did so well. They worked so hard and it was just such a, an honest sort of opinion of the last two years and what's going to happen next. I thought it was absolutely amazing and inspirational. What did you think Robin? I loved it. Um, so I thought the performance was really good and the philosophy that was behind it and how everyone was really confident and knew what they wanted to do in this world so that they could improve it. I really enjoyed the performance because it's inspired me to do it in the summer and I would totally recommend joining. <laughs>